Hello! I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of this little uh, AC detector that I got off of Wish.com. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I, it's two or three dollars, something like that. And this is this can be an important tool if it works right. Uh, if you don't know what this is, basically you push this button and hold it down. If you get near a live AC source, it will blink red as well as beep on you. Okay. Well, it didn't come with batteries, so I put some brand new batteries in it. And uh, first thing I noticed is that the board is kind of twisted in here. It's at an angle and the battery connector on this end is bent all the way over to one side. I did have a hard time putting these batteries in here because um, they don't really fit well. I had to kind of force it in like that. And uh, so I used it for one minute maybe. And if you get next to a cable that's got the AC, yes it does it does blink um, and it's got a it's got a light here oops sorry it's got a light here that uh, is supposed to come on when you're using it There's, it it helps you uh, to find uh, the point that you're trying to test if you're in the dark Let's see it's working there um, and also let you know that the thing is on you know so if you're if you're in the dark trying to find a cable or whatever and you want to see if there's electricity to it that's okay but this little tip here is designed to fit inside the uh, prong where the hot lead is and it, when you stick this in there it should be close enough now this is just plastic but the detector is right in the nose here. So that's supposed to be close enough so that you can tell if there's uh, voltage. It does not work that way. This you, I plugged it into several outlets into the hot lead. This does not get close enough to tell you that that outlet is hot. So it's useless in that matter. Now, uh, that's not the worst of this. This light stopped working and works and then stopped working you had to bang it around and get it to work and that's not the worst of it I then pulled these batteries out and after just using this for a minute the the batteries were cherry hot I mean they were just so hot I'm sure that these batteries are half gone now that's not good so uh, I'm going to attempt to take this apart, although I'm fairly certain that this is heavily glued together here, I'm going to attempt to take this apart and get this board out so we can look at it a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to do this on camera, but if it gets too difficult, I may cut away and come back once I figure out a good way to get into it. Uh, grab my extra eyeballs here, my <laughs> extender glasses, so I can look into this. And see if that's, yeah, that appears to be, oh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, it is coming apart. There we go. Okay, so this is their testing probe, I guess. And it looks like it is supposed to... Hmm, let me, I'm looking down the end of that probe. It looks like it is supposed to uh, extend down into the end of that uh, the tip, but it doesn't work right. And this board, um, I'm going to take this board out too. Let's see if I can just pop that loose. There we go. Okay, so there's the on and off button interesting this is going through this hole here but it's not 
soldered in there. I wonder if they've got that attached some other way. Nope, they do not. So that switch wasn't even soldered in. They just folded the pins over. That's not good. Wow. That's really <laughs> shoddy workmanship. And the way that this is bent backwards, I'm guessing that this hit on the inside and didn't go all the way into that uh, into the nose of this piece here. It's just a resistor. Wonder if that would. Uh, I'm pushing that in there. Yeah, it looks like it would fit. I just don't think they assembled this thing very well. Um, there's no isolation between the negative probe and this resistor either. Um, that resistor is basically an antenna that does the sniffing. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to see where that... That's not soldered in properly either. There's a through hole right here, and it's uh, it's not soldered on the bottom side. Neither are the neither are the the uh, the diode. <laughs> this is just really bad construction. The rest of it seems to be soldered okay, but the switch and this resistor, which does the sensing, is not soldered. Actually, this isn't soldered in properly either. Now these are just strain reliefs. It's soldered on two pins, but not the other two. So, eh, still it would be better if it was all soldered. But you can see, if you look down the side of this board, this board is warped. It's very crooked. It's not straight at all. Very, very thin. And it's bent. There's not a proper distance between this connector and this connector to fit two batteries in, and it's pushing it around. Boy, I don't know. Just, just you know, it's it looks like this is supposed to be a copy of a fluke based on the colors, but I can guarantee you it's not the quality of a fluke. Um, volt alert. Sensitivity range, 90 to 1,000 volts. Anyway... It's just like anything else you get off of Wish.com. You get what you pay for. You buy a three, $3 voltage sensor. Don't risk your life on it. Don't don't go up to something and go, Oh, it's dead, and then grab a hold of it because you're liable to get a nasty, nasty surprise. But uh, anyway, that's it. It's kagada. No good. Junk. Um, there's the switch. I'll go ahead and... I'm going to solder all this stuff back together and see if it works. Uh, if it was just a soldering issue. But I still don't know why the batteries were getting hot. Unless it was shorting up against this resistor. That could cause a problem. That might even buy, be why it didn't work in the middle of this probe. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it all together and solder down right. And um, I'm not sure what I can do with this resistor. I may put some heat shrink over or something and see if I can't get it to go down into that, to the end of this where it's supposed to be as I put it together. And I'll tell you the results in just a moment. All right, we're back. Well, got it all back together. And uh, the best thing I can say is at least the light works now pretty much all the time but it's still you got to have your AC somewhere in this vicinity for it to work it won't work out here I would absolutely say stay away from this piece of junk I'm gonna pull my batteries back out of it and throw it in the trash can okay just a warning you know don't buy this stuff from wish.com electronics anyways it's it's all garbage 
Thanks, and if you got anything out of this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next video.